Good morning, class. Okay, so before we start our class today, let us all pray. Let us be aware of the Holy Presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please bow your heads and let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for this wonderful day, sharing your love with our teacher and classmates. Thank you for the strength and excellence you gave us to learn and understand our lessons. Thank you to our teachers, parents, and classmates who shared to us the joy of learning. Amen. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so. Good morning once again, class. Welcome to our art class. So, how are you today? Okay, it's great that all of you were good and fine. I am also fine today. Thank you. So, is everybody present today? Okay, very good. So, before we start our class, always remember our class rules first respect yourself your teacher your classmates and other people around you okay okay so how about when you want to answer or if you have questions what should you do okay great raise your hands when you want to answer or if you have questions okay so how about when your teacher is, is discussing the lesson Okay, very good. You must listen attentively so that you will be able to understand the lessons being discussed. Lastly, you must participate because today we have lots of fun activities to do. Okay, so class, are you ready for our lesson today? Okay, so let's start. Okay, so now I have here six crayons and I want you to identify the colors of the following crayons, okay? Okay, so what do you think is the color of the first crayon? Okay, very good. It is color red. Okay, so how about the second crayon? Okay, great. It is color yellow. Okay, so how about the third crayon? Yes, correct. It is color blue. What do you think is the color of the fourth crayon? Okay, very good. It is color orange. Okay, so how about the fifth one? Okay, great. It is color green. Okay, so how about the last crayon? Yes, correct. It is color violet or purple. Okay, so now class, I have here a story entitled White Rabbit's Color Book by Alan Baker. Okay, so looking at the cover page of the book, what do you think is the story all about? Yes, it is about a rabbit, but what about the rabbit? Okay, so now listen attentively to the story, okay? Okay, so let's start. One day, White Rabbit found three big tubs of paint, red, yellow, and blue. Sunshine yellow, she thought. Lovely. A quick dip and yellow rabbit bright as the sun. Now what about red? Thought Rabbit. What's this? Orange rabbit? Look! Red and yellow together make orange. Time for a wash, thought Rabbit. Red on its own this time. Splash. Red Rabbit, sizzling hot red. How cool blue looks, thought Rabbit. Now, what do you think is the color of the rabbit when she comes out of the blue paint? 
Okay, so now let's see. What's this? Purple rabbit? Look, red and blue together make purple. I am a very important royal purple rabbit. Princess purple rabbit in the shower. Blue will do, thought rabbit. Blue rabbit, icy cold blue. Brr. How warm yellow looks, thought rabbit. What's this? Green rabbit. Look, blue and yellow together make green. Oh dear, no more water. All that's left is a red is a little red paint. Now what would happen? Thought rabbit. Hooray! Brown rabbit. Lovely warm brown. Blue, yellow, and red together make brown. And brown's just right for me. Okay, so that's the end of the story. Okay, class, did you knew the story? Okay, so it was a great story, right? Okay, so now what is your favorite color of the rabbit? Okay, red, so why red? Oh, you like red because the rabbit looks cute in red color. Okay, so now, why do you think the rabbit turned to different colors when he dipped into two colors of paint? Okay, so the rabbit turned to different colors when he dipped into two colors of paint because when you mix two or more colors together, you can create more colors. And this pertains to the types of color. Okay, so our lesson for today is about the types of color. So there are three types of color, and these are the primary colors, secondary colors, and the tertiary colors. But for today, we will only discuss the two types of color, the primary colors and the secondary colors. Okay, so what is a primary color? So primary colors includes red, blue, and yellow. Primary colors are colors that can be created by mixing off other colors. It means that primary colors are the source of making other colors. So using only these three colors, we can create more colors. Okay, so I have here three tubs of paint. The primary colors, namely red, blue, and yellow. So now, I will mix these colors together, and I want you to identify what colors does it make, okay? Okay, so now, let us first mix the color of red and yellow. Okay, so now what color does it make? Okay, very good. It is color orange. So combining the color of red and yellow together makes color orange. So if you remember from the story that we read earlier, the rabbit turned orange when he dipped into the tubs of red and yellow paint, right? Okay, so now... Let us mix other colors. Okay, so let us mix the color of blue and yellow. 
Okay, so now, what color does it make? Okay, great. It is color green. So combining the color of blue and yellow together makes color green. Just like from the story earlier, the rabbit turned green when he dipped into the tubs of blue and yellow paint. Okay, so now, we will mix the color of red and blue. Okay, so what color does it make? Okay, correct. It is color violet. So combining the color of red and blue makes color violet. So again, from our story earlier, if you remember, the rabbit turned into violet when he dipped into the tubs of red and blue paint. So these colors that we create using primary colors are called secondary colors namely the orange green and violet okay so what is secondary color okay so secondary colors are colors made by mixing off two primary colors okay so the secondary colors are orange green and violet so mixing the primary colors creates secondary colors. Okay, so now let's identify the colors of natural and man-made objects as primary or secondary colors. But before that, let us first know what is natural and man-made objects. Okay, so Natural objects are the things around that are made by God. They also possess natural color. So for example, mountain, trees, flowers, and animals. While man-made objects are, are things created by humans rather than occurring naturally. So for example, house, toys, and car okay so now let's identify whether the color of the natural and man-made objects are primary color or secondary color okay so now what do you see in the picture okay very good it is a mango so what is the color of the mango Okay, great. It is color yellow. Now, is color yellow a primary color or a secondary color? Okay, very good. It is a primary color. 
So the color of the mango is a primary color. Okay, so how about the second picture? Okay, great. It is a bird. So what is the color of the bird? Okay, very good. It is color green. So is the color of the bird a primary color or a secondary color? Okay, great. It is a secondary color. So the color of the bird is a secondary color. Okay, so now let's identify the color of the man-made objects. So now what is the color of the dress of the child? Yes, correct. It is color orange. So now is the color of the dress a primary color or a secondary color? Yes, correct. It is a secondary color. Okay, so how about the second one? What is the color of the bag? Okay, very good. It is color red. So is the color of the bag a primary color or a secondary color? Okay, very good. It is a primary color. Okay, so that's all about the types of color. So do you have questions regarding with our lessons? Okay, so there's no question. So let's proceed to our activity. So for the following activities, you are going to draw and paint. But before, but before we proceed with our activity, I want you to go to your groups and prepare your art materials. And group leader, kindly facilitate the preparation of your group materials on your group table, okay? Is everything clear? Okay, very good. Okay, so are you done preparing your materials? Are your materials ready? Okay, very good. Okay, so class, listen attentively for the instruction of your first activity. So now, for your first activity, you are going to create a color wheel that contains primary and secondary colors. So, I have here a color wheel and all you have to do is the color based on what color is written on each part of the color wheel. Okay, is everything clear? Do you have questions? Okay, very good. You may start now. Okay, well, very good. Your color wheels are nice and creative. So, good job, everyone. Okay, so now, for your second activity, you are going to draw anything that is natural or man-made objects. Then you color it using primary and secondary colors. Okay, so is everything clear? So do you have questions? Okay, very good. So, your score will be based on the following criteria. First, if your drawing shows uniqueness and creativity, then you'll have 5 points. Second, if your drawing contains natural and man-made objects, then you'll have another 5 points. And lastly, if you use primary and secondary colors in coloring your drawing, then you'll get another 5 points. So a total of 15 points. Okay, so I will be giving you 15 minutes to finish the activity. And after 15 minutes, you will present your drawings to the class. Okay, is everything clear? Okay, very good. You may start now. Okay, so good job everyone. All of your drawings were great. You are all creative. So let us clap our hands to everyone. Okay, so again, what are the two types of color that we have discussed? Okay, very good. So the two types of color are the primary colors and the secondary colors. Okay, so now, what are the primary colors? 
Okay, great. The primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Okay, so how about the secondary colors? Okay, correct. The secondary colors are orange, green, and violet. Okay, so good job everyone. Okay, so are there any questions? Okay, so there's none. Then it's quiz time. So in our quiz, you're going to identify the colors of natural and man-made objects below. Write PC if it is a primary color and SC if it is a secondary color. Okay, so it is a five item quiz and I will give you five minutes to finish the quiz. Okay, is everything clear? Okay, very good. You may start now. Okay, so please pass all your papers. Okay, so very good everyone. It seems that all of you have learned the concepts pertaining to the types of color as you were able to identify and use such colors correctly. Now for your assignment, color the following natural and man-made objects below with primary colors and secondary colors. Okay, so is everything clear? Do you have questions regarding with our lesson today? Okay, so there's none. So let's call it a day. I hope you have learned today from our lesson. So let us now pray. Okay, so let us be aware of the Holy Presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please bow your heads and let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for this wonderful day, sharing your love with our teacher and classmates. Thank you for the strength and excellence you gave us to learn and understand our lessons. Thank you to our teachers, parents, and classmates who shared to us the joy of learning. Amen. Okay, so goodbye and thank you class.